Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another review and today I'm taking a look at the Figure Rise Standard Amplified Blue Eyes White Dragon by Bandai. Now this is a kit I am super super hyped about and just in case you actually don't know what this is per se and just want yourself a Blue Eyes White Dragon, this is a model kit so you do have to build it and it's one hell of a model kit at that. Also, if you do want to know more about the Figure Eye Standard Amplified line, I've done a bunch of the Digimon kits as well. Basically, Bandai takes the standard design from the anime in question and amplifies them up to an over-the-top design. But yeah, I guess that is enough about that. If you do want one of your own, I got mine through Hobby Link Japan. The link is down there in the description. But yeah, let's check it out. So jumping right on into the aesthetics, and what can I say, I am blown away by this. This is so, so cool. First off, I remember way back when, when Yu-Gi-Oh! originally aired in the West, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, it really just seemed like the first big bad guy or big challenge Yu-Gi had to really deal with, and it's just such a cool, iconic design. I'll also mention that Exodia is coming out as well as part of this line, which I am super, super excited about, and I hope they go whole hog on this. I absolutely adore the Yu-Gi-Oh! monster designs. But well, yeah, what can I say? I guess first off, what size is this thing? So yeah, straight away, just measuring the wingspan of it in the position I've had it in the review so far, this comes in at a solid 57 centimeters or close to 23 inches. So this is a decent sized model kit. Now, speaking of the model kit aspect about this, just winding back a little bit towards the build, this was a lot of fun to put together. First off, this is pretty much made out of all of the same color plastic besides the inside of the mouth and the eyes. The eyes on this are made out of, guess what, blue plastic, but they do have a nice metallic aspect to them so they catch the light nicely. The tongue and the inside of the mouth are in a nice purple shade and the detailing on this is incredible. The light blue plastic that the Blue Eyes White Dragon is made out of is all pearlescent. Now, to some degree, this might look a little bit cheap to some people. It also might make it a little bit difficult to paint if you do want to paint it, but it does, as an out-of-box build, look really, really cool. It catches the light ever so nicely and gives it a very majestic kind of feel. The wings in here are made out of a kind of a almost rubbery tarp kind of feel. It almost feels kind of like a builder's membrane or something similar to that. It's shiny on one side, it's diffuse on the other, which is the front. These look really cool and are super simple to build. The build is very, very easy, but that does result in a lot of seam lines all over this particular kit. Now this is a model kit, not a figure, so it does feel like a model kit in the hand, which means this is a very, very fragile feeling kit, so be careful with it. So when it comes to the size of this right here, it is quite this sizable model kit once finished. Just for a bit of a comparison, there it is beside one of Bandai's high-grade Witch from Mercury kits, that is the high-grade Aerial Rebuild. And there's another one then, that one right there, being the high-grade Mikailis. The figure eyes Suleta, and the figure eyes Miorine. So now jumping into the accessories and here's everything that comes with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So what we get in here is an action based stand, this is one of the ones with a super long arm, and we do have two of these things right here which are very cleverly designed action based adapters. So out of box as built, this is what the Blue Eyes White Dragon will look like right here, so nice and seamless, well it does have seam lines in it, but I mean it doesn't have any holes or anything like that for attaching an action base into, which looks nice if you just want a nice Blue Eyes White Dragon. But when it comes to actually attaching this onto the action base, we've got two very cleverly hidden parts. That is this segment in the front that pulls off very, very easily, and this segment around back that takes a little bit of extra effort to get it off. But this is how you attach it to the action base. So the way these work is very intelligent. For example, the one round back you just slot on like so in the place of the armor plate we took off the back, and that gives us this little peg segment here. That just attaches into the action base, and this is the one I was using all through the review. This is for pretty much vertical kind of poses, like seeing it from the front like this with the wide wingspan, if that's what you want, this is the adapter segment, or should I say, optional part that you'll be using. As for the other one, that does exactly the same thing, just into the front. You just pop it in just like so, and there you've got your peg again. As for the action base itself, this is the same kind of Bandai action base you'll see with a lot of different Bandai kits. You can buy it separately too. It's got two arms, you can adjust their height and angle using this little bit that attaches in between the two. Adjust the angle up top like this, and then you just pop that adapter, again plate segment, down into it like so. Now this would be for your horizontal poses, 
like the blue eyes white dragon in flight like what you're seeing right here so intelligently done and as for accessories that's all there is so finally now into the articulation on this now just mention the overall build strength this is definitely a very delicate model kit so not one you really want to go around shaking the shite out of now i'm going to proceed to shake the shite out of it so yeah we'll wiggle all over the place like so it is very very delicate might drop some poses but at the same time it can well it can hold up to it so now when it does come to the articulation on this i really do feel like it's more of a case of there's articulation to get it from the horizontal position or should i say the vertical position like this to bring it round nicely to a flying horizontal position and that's really all that you're going to get out of it besides that then you've got the option of having the mouth open like so the tongue is articulated a bit as well or having the mouth closed the head can move up and down like so looks side to side very nicely the neck on the inside is a wire so you just build the parts on piece by piece by piece by piece onto the wire so that's nice fluid and feels good and then around at the tail it's pretty much the same gig that you've got a wire inside of it the last few are actually ball jointed these three and it's a wire up here that could probably be tightened up a little bit just to make sure it maintains the position when I pop it into it it's just kind of loosened up from moving it around a lot but besides that it is very nice the wings do actually I'm gonna pop the wings off I actually do feel when you're doing the wings or when you're gonna be posing the wings maybe removing them is for the best because they are quite delicate we do have a joint here which will allow this to close up a little bit but does fold the wing segment but it doesn't seem to be bothered by that too much it doesn't feel like it's going to get damaged this is some heavy duty stuff again it does feel like a kind of builder's tarp or something like that it's some heavy duty plastic we do have a joint here but that is one of those kind of like split ball joints which allows you to move it up and down like that and rotate it but as you can see it is kind of separating a little bit so when it is attached you've tried to rotate it a lot that could end up breaking or getting rotated. So I say your best bet is that to actually take it off, pose it the way you want it, and then pop it back in. But you're gonna get a lot out of those as well. Nothing over the top, but quite a bit. Next up in here, we got Blue Eyes' arms. So I didn't mention it so far throughout this, but the spikes on this are made out of a nice translucent plastic. So if that's backlit, it will glow nicely. We've got a bit of a segment right here, this up top that's just held on by a bit of a ball joint so it doesn't do a whole lot, bit of rotation to keep it out of the way of its movement. The arm can raise at that shoulder point right there. We do have rotation right here as well. When it comes to the arm bend, that's what you get, so not too bad. And this is that kind of regular figure rise standard kind of wrist. Again, very delicate. It's a split ball joint so you can rotate and do everything with it but just be careful not to be too rough with it. And nothing actually happens in the hand itself. Next up then is the leg. We have a ball joint into this kind of bit of a hinge that comes out just like that. That's very nice. When it comes to the knee, we've got a double bend right here underneath that kneecap. We've got another double bend down here at this point. And then the ankle is that with a bit of rotation, just like so. So the whole thing is like that all the way down and out to outstretch like so so pretty good so the final test of articulation and this really is just to satisfy my own curiosity and that is can you pull off ground poses with the blue eyes white dragon and i guess the spoiler answer to that is you most definitely can just in case you want this kit on the ground or you want to use it for a proxy and well as some other kind of draggy draggy dragon that hangs out on the ground. Anyway, that is it for the review. This is a very, very nice model kit. There's not really much I can say about it besides if you do want to paint it, it does have a kind of pearlescent finish on it and I'm not sure how that would work out for you. Besides that though, it's got a lot of articulation. Be careful with those wings, they are delicate. Remove them before you pose them. And honestly, I can't wait to see this line get expanded. Slifer and obelisk when. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more model kit reviews. I got this from Hobby Link Japan. The link is down there in the description. And as always, I will see you next time.